Good morning, year 5. Uh, I apologize for being a little bit late today. So today we are going to do some tasks in your Google Classroom, your module, as well as refer to your textbook, starter unit, page number 8. Alright, good morning everyone. Get ready because we are going to start our lesson very soon. For our pre-lesson today, I want you to go to your Google Classroom and complete this assignment. You can pause this video and then continue to watch later. I'll explain the lesson later. Okay, let's see if you can do this task well. So, how did you do? Did you get them all correct? Now, did you notice that every pair of the word has an X in the middle? and that they are actually opposites. Okay, in our previous lesson, I already mentioned to you what opposite is. Opposite means bertentangan. So, when words are opposites of each other, we call them antonyms. Okay, antonyms mean these words are the opposite of each other. Dia berlawanan maksud. Okay, antonyms. They are words that are opposite of each other. Teacher bagi contoh. These are a few examples. Tall versus short. Big versus small. Now, you have already learned this in your Bahasa Malaysia. Okay, it's actually the same thing, but now you are learning it in English. Now, exercise. Find the opposites of these words and write them in your English. One. Okay, copy this one down in your English. One. Pause this video. Number one, diligent. Number two, stale. Three, cold. Four, rich. Five, benefit. Six, generous. Okay, before you find the antonym, sebelum kamu cari antonymnya, perkataan yang berlawan, you find the meaning of these words first. Cari dulu maksud enam perkataan ini. Alright, you get me? You can use online dictionary if you don't have a real book dictionary. Okay, kalau kamu tiada dictionary bentuk buku, you can use online dictionary. Don't worry. Okay, so find the opposites. Do it in English. One. Okay. Okay, now read the text on page number eight again in your English plus one starter unit and answer these questions in your module. Alright, so the instruction in your module say, read the text in exercise 1 again and color the correct answer. So, you must color the correct answer. For example, number 1, has Paul's mobile got a good camera? Read the text again. If your answer is A, yes it has. Color, yes it has. Alright, so if the, your answer is B, then color B. Okay, so do this first. Now we are on to the next task, the, actually the very last task for today, okay? You are going to write some sentences, but before you write the sentences, you are going to write a total of eight sentences. I'm going to explain how you do this task first, okay? Dengar dulu explanation teacher, otherwise you'll get it wrong, alright? So listen very carefully. All right, before you start writing your sentences, there are some key elements that you must include in your sentence, all right? So your sentence is either about a TV program, place, person, or a game or film, okay? It is either one of these four categories. Number two, use the adjective below the categories. Now, each of the category comes with three adjectives. Setiap satu kategori itu ada tiga adjective. For example, if you look at TV program, tengok di bawah dia, dia ada popular, boring, or good. Okay, so when you talk about the TV program, you use these three adjectives. One of these three adjectives. Okay, another example is place, tempat. If you want to write a sentence about a place, you use any of the three categories which are big, horrible, or old. Okay, and person we use nice, popular, or interesting. And finally, when you want to write a sentence about a game or a film, you use the adjective expensive, fast, and new. Alright, so you understand? The last key elements that you must include in your sentence is adverbs of degree. Now, what do I mean by that? Okay, look at the, the table below, okay? 
uh, there are four pictures of handphones there, right? Mobile phones there. And then look at the sentences at the bottom. Okay? The words that are highlighted in bold and underlined. Okay? Perkataan yang dia bagi gelap dan juga dia gariskan tu. Those are actually adverbs of degree. Alright? So, for example, when you want to write about a TV program. Tadi teacher ada mention kan? One of the words that you can use is boring. So, when you write about Avengers the Age of Ultron, okay, you can use the adverbs of degree which I highlighted in red, yang teacher kasih color merah tu, okay, you use that in your sentence. So, your sentence will become, Avengers the Age of Ultron is a very boring movie, okay. Another example that you can use is, Among Us is really popular game nowadays, okay, so, uh, the last one is, Madam Sia is quite an interesting person. Okay, you can use that in your sentence. You use the words in red. Alright, in your sentences. Alright, more example. Now that you are on to this, let's look at the table again. Now, writing the eight sentences. Number one, I'll, I'll talk about number uh, the category number two, place. So, I use membakut town. So, membakut town is really. Remember the adverbs of degree we learned earlier? Really old. Okay? Old is listed under place there. Nampak ga? Old, di bawah place tu. Okay? So, you add the adverbs of degree in front of the adjective that you choose. Okay, next one. Uh, number two, I'm going to talk about a game or a film. Okay, Games of Thrones isn't really a new video game. So, if you look at the table in the previous slide, is it isn't really though. It's actually one of the uh, adverbs of degree that you have learned. Okay, so these are the two examples that I've listed. Now, you can go on to make sentences number 3, 4, 5, and 6. And if you don't want to use my example in your exercise, it's fine. You can write all eight sentences by yourself. Alright, so we are done with today's lesson. These two pages, nap them properly, clearly, and submit them to me via your Google Classroom. Okay, the first page, actually, you have done online. Just copy your answer into the... Uh, into the page into the exercise all right so the next part uh, you do it properly especially the sentence part please submit them to me before friday because we have another meet lesson on friday oh before i forgot and this one too submit them via google classroom okay all right that's all for today five tone don't forget to do all of your tasks See you on Friday during our meet session or I will grind you on Friday if you haven't finished my task, okay? So make sure you finish all of them. Bye-bye.